Hello, it's Super Doctor Gamer here, and welcome back to a vloggy vloggy Friday. As I go very dark and switch on the light in my mother's room for no obvious reason, I'm just gonna do some wandering about while the weather is absolutely shite outside. I haven't done a vlog in in ages. Who's I'm being a nosy, I'm, I'm being a nosy bastard of, of a neighbour, for no reason. But I thought I'll let you, um, well, keep you updated on what's been going on. I'll just switch off the hall light and go out here, excuse me. Um, what's been going on? Well, I can't remember the last time I did, did a vlog, really. I'm actually going to go back into here anyway. So I just switch that up, I know I'm being random. Um, but let's start, well last time, probably the week where I did a vlog, nothing happened, but let's go for last week, which was, of course, Friday, so, well, this this is actually on Thursday, so it was a week on Friday, because uh, I volunteer at a uh, local church, Christian youth group, and I'm sort of training as a leader. Um, I went to the uh, leaders event thing in Exton, the um, extreme karting, if you know where Exton driving range is, you know where I mean. If you don't, then okay. And yeah, it was actually really good fun and if I get it here, if you can't, if you can't see that, that says first place. I got first place. I got first place. I'm so happy. That's my probably my first ever trophy. As well, uh, new new season of Charlie just started. There's the two programs. I need to give one to one to Craig. I haven't seen him at all. I need to give it to him maybe next week or or something. I don't know. But um, so yeah, that's what happened on Friday, apart from work and that lot. So that's what I did on on the Friday evening, and then Saturday. Didn't too, do too much. Um, just listened to United lose against Bloody Swansea, and then I was just like, fuck. Um, Sunday, didn't do much. Monday, Monday, went to work, came back, and then if you follow me on Twitter or, or like me on my Facebook fan page, you might have seen. Oh my god, my mum's car just got broken into, 100% legit, because, I mean, she's just gone out, but, you see down there, that's the empty space where my mum's car should be, well, she, won't have taken, she would have taken the car anyway, in this weather, but, 100% legit, yeah, my mum's car got broken into, which was not, nice at all because I'll, I'll actually take you into um, my gaming room here because well I was here like right here just uh, playing on my on my television but I'm watching currently television at the moment but I could hear stuff from you know out there and I've, I just thought it was other people, you know, like people visiting people and whatnot. So I didn't take well, I didn't take any notice of it. Then I was about to quit, we were, you know, switch on my PlayStation, switch on my telly, and then you know, go to bed. Do you like my t shirts? But I didn't take a charge, studio, but less of that. Let's just carry on. And then, um, let's just get this my new blind. So I looked out there, where the well, where the driveway is, where the car was, and because it was really windy, I know it sounds stupid, but I thought it was the wind moving the car because my mum has um, those little teddies that you stick on your window, and um, basically I thought, okay, that car is moving, and I thought it was the wind, and then. I saw movement in the car, and I, well, 
So I was like, almost like this, you know, like, like looking down at the drive, doing like, sort of like this, sort of, I don't know, I just like that. And I, I was like, is that actually someone in movement in the car? Then I stayed here for a few more minutes. And then I did, then of course, I 100% saw legit saw movement in the car and basically well everything just started going through like oh my god there's someone in the car you know what's he stealing is he going to come into the house you know all that stuff so you know, it was sort of fear and adrenaline at the same time so basically this is like a, like what I sort of did like a guiding top, well not like a guiding top, but basically I bolted down these fucking stairs like like a cheater on steroids and she shouldn't put the fucking keys like there like there, sorry it's gonna go really dark but like this and then you know going mum, mum, mum like get into here and because mum was sat down there watching television there um because these, oh, well, these these were all, all this was, all those were closed. I was like, Mum, there's no one in the car. It's like, are you joking? I was like, no. So, you know, grab the phone. Because this phone is stupid. I have to do that and then dial wherever the number is. So I was like dialing, you know, 999 and then pressing it and it wouldn't dial. I was like, you know, like, I'm fucking shaking all over. It's like a fucking leaf on the... Bloody windy day. Oh. Hang on. I should have spotted him. Look at him. Hello. What you doing? Hey, what you doing? Stupid cat. And then, basically, we came to the door, if you can see that. And then we opened, well, Opens it and then we can see the um, well, you can just imagine there's a car there, but um, the front seats were forward, which they would never are unless like proper forward and like that. And well, I can't remember what my mum shouted, but oh, I think it was something like, Oi, get out of my out of our car, my car. We we're calling the police, and then we saw some. Well, I'm not appealing for witnesses, but if you did see um, a black, a black male, I'm gonna say black. I don't care if it sounds fucking racist or anything, but black male, about five foot nine or something, grey hoodie, trackies, and. Um, white trainers and maybe a flat cap because I think I, I think I saw a flat cap on him over well when he was wearing a hoodie and then he's he's basically well he sprinted off uh that way and then then that way uh down um Manor, Manor Avenue well you probably actually decide for where I live now but oh well it's not like anyone any fans are going to track me down <laughs> You never know, but still. <sighs> so, yeah, then the police came and then, you know, all the details and stuff. And then, well, I could not sleep on Monday. Well, uh, Monday to Tuesday night. Because it happened, it happened about 10-ish. 10-ish at night, so I could not sleep. Well, I tried to get a few... A few few you know, a few winks of sleep, but I just couldn't, I just couldn't, I, I was still like, you know, what if I did this, what if I did that, you know, like, what if I did see it, see it happening earlier, and, you know, call the police and didn't tell, you know, didn't sp spook him, and then the police came and could have arrested him, or what if I did tell mum, and then we shut the car, and then locked the car, and then, you know, the police could have come around, and then, you know, arrested him. And all that shite. Uh, so yeah. 
you need uh, well you need the sat now because we had a built in built in sat nav in the car um you need the airbags for some reason but apparently uh, airbags are really popular and sell actually quite cheap um quite expensive these days so um driver's uh, airbag was gone My passenger side was gone so yeah Sat nav airbags gone, Don't, uh, and it w it wasn't just us. There were two other people from down my street, also same person, got their airbags and whatnot taken out of their car. So yeah, but on Tuesday, because I had because I had to go to where uh, mom stayed here, waiting for the um, CSI people to come. That's what I'm just gonna call them CSI people. Um, and luckily they got fingerprints, uh, you know, where he's been touching, plate, you know, the plastic. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they catch the t the fucking cunt. Uh, yes, I I do use the C word. I don't, I, I just hate, I hate those people. Really, not black people in general, just people that steal stuff from other people. It's like someone works so hard to get something that. Like, if you bought a pack of sweets and then I come and steal your pack of sweets, you're like, what the, what the fuck? Anyway, I wouldn't do that. But yeah, so that's when then the green the green flag people came. And then the really insured mum was, oh yeah, they're easily just stealing. Like, you know, you get a hog down here, pop it open and then you go. You're like, oh, thanks, thanks, green flag. You made me really, you know, my mum really secure about the fucking car anyway. The uh, Toyota said, "Oh yeah, the security is actually quite good on this car." So uh, the insurance will probably pay for most of it, but not all. Uh, so and then, well, she waited for a courtesy car, which never, well, hasn't turned up because uh, we're still waiting on that. We're still waiting for the uh, police guy who deals with the, with our call to call us back soon. Well, whenever, because um, he works night shifts, so he'll probably work, uh, call us at whatever time it is. Uh, so yeah, uh, as well, I've been working all this week because uh, Morris is on holiday, and uh, well. T Today and yesterday, Dad went. Well, my boss, my dad, whoever, my boss slash my dad, because I work for my dad. Yeah, I know it's confusing, but oh well, family business. Well, not family business, but you know. Um, I'm gonna switch that on. I have a shower after this. Uh, he was out yesterday for most of today and uh, sort of bit of yesterday, so I had to. Take care of the um, the office when he was out. And um, today, oh, today, today, today. Oh, just sit back down. Today, well, apart from uh, the my boss, well, my dad being out for most of the day. Um, after all that, well, I saw, I did see him when I was about to leave. As I locked up the office and I got to near uh, the corner where I work. He pulled in to the cut, well, into the road. So I just walked back and gave him a hug, gave him a hug. I was like, "Okay, bye, Dad. I'll see you tomorrow." And then walked, walked back. Well, it was only a short distance, so I walked, then walked to the bus. But as I was on the, well, this is the one two five bus today. Uh, um, if you know, I can't remember, think of what the road's called now, but uh, the road where Chorley Hospital is on that side and then there's the two roundabouts uh, where the, with the traffic lights on them now if you know if you um, live in my part of the country um, but yeah at the first uh, roundabout there's f four I think four lanes two to go like uh, that way down down the hill towards uh, Exton or uh, the entrance to uh, Chorley Hospital 
and too late to go straight on into Chorley, you know, coming that way, because I was going uh, to, you know, the other way, to other way, because uh, I was heading back to Preston. Black BMW driver uh, in the lane to go straight on to Chorley came basically like, Sort of like this came from like like well I was facing it but he was on the road to go straight on into uh, Chorley, and then decided to go around the roundabout, so he turned um, my my left his right, and then as soon as the um, the traffic lights turned green on that side, you know the uh, too wrongly the. One of the drivers, you know, beat this on, and then I think he did that all that to him, and then I think you know, there was a, I think there was, a, you know, there was gonna be, there was gonna be road rage, which is, <sighs> frankly, well, he fucking deserved it anyway, fucking prick, you know, there's a, there was point of a queue, there's, you know, there's a point of a queue. And then on the number three bus, just got off um, because they're redesigning all the all the stops at the railway station stop, not at Primark. Oh, two chavs got on, and guess what? Start playing funky music loud. So I was just like, you know, I just did my uh, typical thing. I'm just trying to put you in with. Between my leg as well, actually being it looking too odd. Maybe. Oh no, that's, that's not gonna work. Come on. No. You're gonna see my fucking fabric. <sighs> so annoying. Hang on, can I put you down there without you falling? Please don't fall. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, finally, got hands free. So I was just sat there just going. Well, I didn't do it like, like that loudly, I just like, you know, sarcastic clapping and I was just like, really, you have, why are you playing your music loud? I mean, I did, I did one of these fucking rounds in my second, in my second vlog, but these, going back to my roots, these are called headphones, use them on your phone instead of us listening to your shitty gangster movie. It's gangster crap. You know, no one wants to listen to your music at whatever time in the morning or in the even, evening it is. I've got bloody nits and crabs and all sorts. But when I got off the bus, I think one of them was doing that to me. I don't, I'm not 100% sure, but I just went, you know, that to them. Because they shouldn't be fucking pricks. I, I was just, because I've, I mean, I've been working, you know, from Monday to, to today. So, you know. Back to them, really. And I've got Friday tomorrow. Or oh, this will be actually Friday today when this video is out. But I've got Friday tomorrow, so I've got all of Friday. But finish up four. So, okay. Friday. I'm going to lock up my door as well. I'm with that security. Security now. So much security. And I'm just going to lock up. Take a shower. And then probably don't hopefully don't forget to unlock it for my mum to come back in. But yeah. Apart from all that stuff's been happening, yeah, me and well we're both okay, me and my mum, you know. My mum's still like really annoyed with people. Well, mostly the insurance for it. And you know what but oh well. I'm not shaking up by it anymore, but you know, I'm sleeping more than sleeping more naturally now. Because there's less one one less thing to worry about. About the car. So I've been what the game of this has been a quite long vlog, but I had to get things off my chest because I haven't vlogged in a long time. And uh you, thanks for watching. Please like and favour this video as well. You can subscribe. Yes, you. I'm talking to you and you and you. And maybe you. you. I'm talking to you people. Um, 
Uh, yeah, as well, you can like and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are always below here. You can also follow me on Google+, Plus, Twitch, and Instagram. I might Instagram my trophy. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> For no reason. But, um, apart from all that, uh, I've been Super Toto Gamer. And, pace off.